Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 133. And it's Acusa, so dated 7-25-2013. Today, I'm going to try to do, I'm going to do my best to do a quick show. So here we go. What I'm going to show you is, I have shown you in a couple of previous shows, the little TV dongle that plugs into your USB port, and with some software that's free, you can turn it into a wideband scan. Well, I found an application, an Android application, that does the same thing. And I want to try to show it to you just quickly because I can't show you all the features because I don't have a key. You have to purchase a key to get all the features. So I'm going to give you a little bit of overview. So here we go. I'm going to move the camera. Here we go. So. And I excuse you, I excuse myself for hand holding the camera, which is a sin when you're doing videos, but here it is anyway. Okay, this is my Android tablet. It's an Acer A500. I've had it for a couple of years. And it has a full size USB port right over here. And what I have plugged into that USB port is my TV dongle for listening to uh, scanner radios. I mean, to listen to scanner uh, uh, radio, uh, wide band radio. And I've, I've mentioned how you do this and all this stuff on a PC. Now we're doing it on a tablet. This is an Android tablet. And I'm going to run a little application that I found today called SDR Touch. And there it is right there. Hope you can see it. I'll try to not jiggle too much. So there's the dial. It's in the uh, 160 point X megahertz range right now. And you install this application and you install a driver program for the dongle. You have to have a driver program. It's not included in the, in this program. The author wrote both of those programs. And then we're going to turn it on, push the off button to turn it on. It loads the driver, and it's now on. And I've moved, you have to, with the, <laughs> with the demo version, you have to do this to change the frequency. And, of course, that will take a very, very long time if you want to go from like 95 megahertz to 162. So let's go up to 162. It's where I was. And if I go to about 162.5, that is the uh, NOAA weather. And if I turn my sound up, oops, turn it up. Okay, stand by. There it is. No weather. And turn it down. I come up here and I push the spectrum button. And there's a spectrum display of this band of frequencies. And you can see I'm very close to centered on that particular NOAA channel. Now, as I said before, this is basically a demo version uh, to turn on all the other functions such as a numeric keypad so you can punch in the frequency and not have to sit there and scroll for a half an hour. I tried scrolling before I did the taping and uh, and, and of course it gives you a little uh, thing every few minutes uh, do you want to buy a key and you have to say no thanks and then the spectrum function now is dead so you get to see it what it was now it's dead. Um, so anyway, the, it gives you this spectrum display full time once you pay for the key. It gives you a numeric keypad for dialing in the frequency. You can it has saved some memory so you can preset some frequencies and probably does several other things um, that you can't do in a demo version. And that's why this is just a quick overview of the program. Uh, if you have any questions or if anybody uses this and has the key, you know, they give us some information. That'd be great. I'm thinking about buying the key. It's $9.95 uh, through the Amazon store, and then I can do a full review.
We'll see. So that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Again, this is SDR Touch on the Android Store. Bye-bye.